Season's greetings from the Fulton First United Methodist Church. I am Jefferson Niles, pastor of the congregation. Welcome to this Christmas Eve service as we observe the festival of the Nativity. If this service feels different this year, it is so because 2020 has been such an unprecedented year. We thank God for the signs of hope that we have begun to see, and we give thanks for the greatest gift of all, the gift of a son, Jesus Christ, who is our hope, our Prince of Peace, our joy unspeakable, and the representation of God's love, a love that will not let us go. So we welcome you in the spirit of the season and pray that you will be blessed as we celebrate together. The candles in the Advent wreath will be lit by the Casa family. And tonight we are lighting the Christ candle in addition to the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Over the last four weeks, we have been reflecting on what it means to wait in hope, offer peace, share joy, and embody love. As we live with hope, peace, joy, and love, there will be more light in our world. God of light, grant us the courage to testify to the light and may hope peace, joy, and love fill the earth. Amen.
Let us pray. God the Creator, we come in awe of you. We are overwhelmed by the wonder of your creation. We are inspired by the mystery of life. We are amazed by the beauty of the world. We are astonished that such a God would have anything to do with the likes of us. So we kneel before you in awe and wonder, humble before your greatness. We come to adore you. We give thanks for Jesus whose birth we celebrate and second coming we await. We pray that we will glorify you in our living and that others will be drawn to the light you give us in Christ Jesus. We pray in his name. Amen. And now we will share in St. Luke's account of the infancy narrative. Here is our narrator, Tom Brown. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne and his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the child you will bear will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your, well, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. Yes. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kissed your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Mary, did you know? Ooh, Mary, did you know? The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know?
Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? And the sleeping child you're holding is the great Am. Mary, did you know? Oh, Mary, did you know? In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David. Because he belonged to the house and line of David, he went there to res register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I will bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in the clothes in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all on whom his favor rests. I heard there was a sacred chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music. Like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing. strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight over through ya but she tied you to her kitchen chair and she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips she drew the this floor I used to live alone before I knew ya and I've seen your flag on the marble arch and love is not a victory march it's a cold and it's a broken Maybe there's a 
God above, but all I've ever learned from love is how to shoot somebody who outdrew ya. And it's not a cry that you hear at night, it's not somebody who's seen the light, it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying, praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
Christ our Emmanuel and all will see the glory of the Lord. Lift up your heads, O gates, and make the highway straight. Prepare to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Your waiting soon will end, God's glory will descend. Rise up and welcome in the coming of the Lord. The coming of the After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is he born, King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth Thank you, Finley, for that lovely rendition of O Holy Night. I imagine that night when Christ was born. It must have been a very moving night for all those involved. And as we celebrate the Nativity in our day, in our time, there is so much darkness about us and we thank God for the light that shone in the darkness in his son Jesus Christ. So at this time we will listen to a rendition of Silent Night and we will have our candle lighting 
And we pray that as we share in this experience, we will once again receive that light that God sent into the world in Christ Jesus. Silent night. Thank you very much to our soloist and signers. And now for our reflection. The story of the birth of Jesus is an immortal story. We have heard it so often, yet for me, and I am sure for countless others, it never seems to grow old or lose its interest. It is filled with mystery and emotion. At the center of the story is a child, Mary's child. Luke tells us of Mary's angelic visitation and what she was told about this child. The angel told Mary that she would have a son whom she should call Jesus. It is important to think about this part of the angel's message to Mary because it reminds us of a simple but significant fact. The child whose birth we celebrate at this time was as human as we are. He came into the world with all the vulnerabilities that come with being a person born into this world. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. That's the way it is with most women, I believe, who become mothers they conceive, they give birth, and they give 
a name to their children. So the child whose nativity we celebrate was born into the same human condition into which we were born. He was someone's son and was given one of the common names of the first century. It was a name that many a mother gave to her son. It was a common name among the common people. Jesus was one of them as he is one of us. The angel also told Mary that her son would be great and would be called the son of the Most High. No doubt every woman's desire is for her child to be great. I like to think that every child born of woman has the potential for greatness and should be guided and, and trained to achieve it. In the case of Mary's son, his greatness is wrapped up in his being called the son of the Most High. This reminds us of Jesus' divine nature. And it is what makes him extraordinary and infinitely more than common. He is uniquely the Son of God. So what we celebrate at this time is the miracle and wonder of God entering our human situation, taking on our human flesh and condition, and becoming like us in Jesus. The story is told of a European monarch who lived in the ancient world. He worried his court by often disappearing, walking and living incognito in disguise among his people. When he was asked not to do that for security's sake, he answered, I cannot rule my people unless I know how they live. My dear friends, God came to live among us in Jesus, to know how we live, to know what we need, and God is able to help us in our living. So tonight as we celebrate, let us consider finally the message of the angel to the shepherds. The angel told the shepherds that the son born to Mary is a savior. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Something else about that name, Jesus, that we should know is that it is derived from the Hebrew Yeshua, which is based on a root that means to deliver or to rescue. Jesus delivers, Jesus rescues, Jesus saves, Jesus is our deliverer, Jesus is the one who rescues us, Jesus is our savior. We celebrate the birth of a savior. We all need a savior because we cannot save ourselves. We need the help of Mary's son and the son of the Most High to deliver, to rescue and save us from sin and the death it brings. In him is life and light. He came to redeem us and to make us sons and daughters of God. So come to the Savior, 
my dear friends, and receive the greatest gift of all, freedom from sin's bondage and eternal life with God. Receive God's salvation and the joy that brings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Let us ask for God's presence and power to be with us always. Grant, O Lord, that the members of the church may be illumined by eternal light and shine as a servant of our incarnate God. We pray that the devotion of the shepherds, the adoration of the angels, and the love of the Holy Family will inspire us in our worship and in our living through the coming year. Son of God, you entered creation that all might be made new. Look in mercy on a broken world. Speak your word to all so that they may hear the message of peace. Bring to all families the joys of Mary and Joseph and bless every home in our community and throughout the world. You brought light into our darkness and healing through your touch. Hear our prayers for those who suffer. Grant to the departed eternal rest. And to those who mourn at this time, bring your consolation. We commend ourselves and all whom we love and all for whom we have prayed to the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, our brother and our God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, eternal God dwelling in light unapproachable. You have revealed your mystery in the wonder of a child. Hear our prayers and have mercy on all for whom we pray this night and always. Through the word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. And now for our final hymn, Joy to the World. sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the earth the savior reigns let all their songs and glory while fields and floods rocks hills and plains repeat the sounding joy repeat the sounding joy repeat repeat the sounding joy no more that sin the sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, for as the curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as, for as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace, and may the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love may the love of the father enfold you 
May the light of the sun enlighten you. And may the presence of the Spirit empower you. And may the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merry Christmas and a bright, prosperous, healthy New Year to all. God bless you. I've seen this room and I've walked this floor. I used to live alone before I knew ya. And I've seen your flag on the marble arch. And love is not a victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken shoot somebody who outdrew ya and it's not a cry that you hear at night it's not somebody who's seen the light it's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah.